Good day everyone. A warm welcome to everyone present for the Christmas day celebration. This day we honor the birth of Jesus Christ. Let me introduce myself. My name is Rohit Kanna and my co-host Harshita. We are super excited to be the hosts of this event. For me, Christmas means plum cakes. Mmm, they are so yummy. Wow, for me it is Santa and his gifts. Jokes apart, let us start the program. Dear folks, let us begin the event with a prayer. I would like to call upon my dear friends from standard 6 and 7 to sing the prayer and make this moment divine and solace sing. what event is next on the list i welcome our first performer to deliver a speech about christmas a very warm welcome to you all today i am going to give a welcome speech for christmas jesus said i have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should remain in darkness a warm and hearty welcome to each and every one gathered here I am extremely privileged to have an opportunity to welcome you all on behalf of Apex Pondicherry Group of CBSC Senior Secondary Schools Chennai. The fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of wind, but goodness of a person spreads in all direction. The quote above is very much fitting to our principal, ma'am, Mrs. R. Nilanjali. You are our leader. You show motherly love. 
give fatherly confidence. Your endless care, guidance and support prove that you are a great leader. We are really blessed and with thankful hearts we welcome you dear madam. Parents, to the world you may be person, but to one person that is your child you may be the world. With immense pleasure we welcome our dear parents. Teachers, the influence of teachers extends beyond the classroom well into the future. Dear teachers, undoubtedly your sense of commitment, sacrificial service, immense patience, responsibility play a key role in our growth and we welcome our dear teachers with our grateful hearts. Children are the world's most valuable resource and best hope for the future. They are the precious gifts of God and precious pearls of the society and building blocks of the strong nation. A very friendly and a lovable welcome to all. Behind the success are great people who do common works and commonly well. We would like to welcome our non-teaching staff members for their continual and cooperative support who work hard in hand with us to make us feel relieved. Once again, I welcome you all. May this Christmas celebration program touch our hearts and souls with joy. Thank you. That was an outstanding speech. Now time for another enthralling performance from class 6 and 7 students. It is a group song. Let us cheer and welcome them. First day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me Thank you. 
It was a real delight to our ears. Thank you, friends. Finally, our awaiting time is over. So, any guesses, Ashita, about our next program? It is a group dance by our three kg children. Let us welcome our sweet weenies onto the stage. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy. It was an out of the world performance. I really got moving after seeing them dance so beautifully. It's time for a skit. The skit will be performed in two parts. First part by class of class 1 and 2 children and part 2 by class 6 and 7 children. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I love Christmas and I love Santa. Me too. But do you know why we celebrate Christmas? It is the birthday of Jesus. Really? Now please tell me Jesus Christ's birth story. Yes, I will tell you the story of Jesus Christ. In the city of Nazareth, there lived a young Jewish girl named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph who was a carpenter. One night, God sent an angel to deliver to a message to, to Mary. By the Lord, you are blessed, a Lord woman. You shall conceive a son, and you shall call a son Jesus, the Son of Most High. Behold, I am the handmaid of God. Let the lost will be done. After delivering the message to Mary, the angel then went to Joseph, the carpenter, to whom Mary was engaged. Joseph. Son of David, take Mary as your wife. It is the Lord will give a birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. Ha! Was that a dream? No, it can't be. It felt so real. Maybe it must be the message from God. Yes, it must be true. I must go and tell this to Mary. Following God's advice, Joseph went to meet Mary the next day. Mary, here you are. How are you? Joseph, what are you doing here? came to tell you a wonderful thing. 
You know what? I received a message from God yesterday. What? I too got a message from God. Ha! Is that so? Then it must be true. Last night an angel came and told me that you will give a birth to Sean and she also asked me to name him Jesus. That's the exact message I got from the angel too. That's wonderful. King Augustus Caesar ordered the people to pay their taxes and register for census. So Joseph and Mary made their way to Bethlehem from Nazareth about 65 miles to pay their taxes and register for census. It took many days to travel to Bethlehem. Finally, they reached Bethlehem. Guess what happened? Mary, you wait here. Make yourself comfortable. I will find a suitable place to stay. Joseph had been looking for places to stay. Couldn't find anyone. Well, I have tried almost all the inns and it looks like all of them are full. Ma Dear Mary, how do you feel? I am very tired Joseph, but do not worry. God will provide the place to live. Poor Joseph and Mary was very tired and didn't know what to do. Oh God, tell me what to do. Help me. I have no idea or no clue. God helped them to find a place. But it was not a castle or either a fancy building, but a small stable. That night in Bethlehem, Mary gave birth to a beautiful boy and she laid him in a manger. <coughs> told them the way to the stable and the shepherds were happy when they saw Jesus lying in a manger. They spread the birth of Jesus to everyone and everyone was in wonder. All the three wise men who were directed by the star came to see Jesus, the Son of God, with precious and costly gifts like gold and incense which were only given to It is about baby Jesus and his birth in Bethlehem and it has an answered question. What would it have been life if you had been there on that night in Bethlehem? Characters Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, shepherds, three wise men, innkeeper, King Herod, soldiers, silver star and the angel. Scene 1 Introduction it was Christmas Eve. Here comes Mary. She has come after 2000 years to visit Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus. She must be quite surprised looking at the developments. Let's see how surprised she is. Ah, the place looks so different. Oh my, look at their clothes. They are totally different from mine. Everything has changed. 2000 years ago, Christmas was like... Mary is surprised by the developments that had happened and now she is narrating her flashback about how Jesus was born. About 2000 years ago, Mary... <coughs> I mean, I was a young girl in Israel. I was engaged to be married to a wonderful man who lived in our hometown. His name is Joseph. Scene 2. Flashback. Joseph was a carpenter. He lived in Nazareth. 
Mary was a normal young girl. One fine day when she was stitching. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The God is with you. Mary was terrified and looked with a sigh on her face, looking at the angel in fear. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You are going to be pregnant and give birth to a son and you have to name him Jesus. He would be called as the son of the most high. The angel also added, the Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary felt really peaceful, but she had a question. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Angel, sir, uh, but how? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. The Holy One to be born will be called as the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. The angel left. Mary kept thinking about what the angel said. Scene 3. Joseph. After hearing that promise of God given to Mary, Joseph was confused. He decided to leave her and not get married. Joseph went to sleep. He had a dream. Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. That made him feel a lot better. Angel continues. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. God has planned something wonderful through her. So Joseph took her to his house to keep her safe. They waited for the son of God to be born. Scene 4. They moved from Nazareth to Bethlehem because a rule was passed on that everyone had to return to the town of their ancestors to be counted and taxed. Since Joseph was the descendant of David, he was supposed to go to Bethlehem. They searched for an inn to stay. <coughs> there is no room in the inn. Here, watch. I'll show you. Innkeeper is whistling as he wipes the table. Excuse me, sir. Name? My name is Joseph and she is Mary, my wife. We need a place to stay for the night, please. Sorry, buddy, but there is no room in the inn. Please, sir. We have walked over 70 miles to get here. Mary is tired. Sorry, pal. I can't help you. The place is packed and there is no place for you, missus. Please, sir. Please. You see, Mary is going to be have a baby. We need shelter somewhere. Anywhere. I see you have a problem. We all got problems, don't we? I tell you what. I'll do since it's obvious you have a need here. There's a stable out back. It's a shelter from the air at night. You can have some privacy. I'll give some nice clean hay. What do you say? We will take it and thank you. The innkeeper gives the clean hay and makes the place comfortable. While Mary and Joseph were in the stable that night, baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped him in the clothes and laid him in the manger. Shepherds were watching over the flocks and all of a sudden the angel of God appeared. Don't be afraid. Shepherds all hit the dirt. Face down on the stage, one by one, they picked up and delivered the next line. And they were terrified, but the angel saved. Other two shepherds stopped trembling, looked up and sat on their knees, looking up at the first shepherd. I bring you good news of great joy. Yeah, good news of great joy. That will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Shepherds were no longer frightened. They excitedly tell the rest of the story. The entry of the wise man. They asked the soldiers of the city gate about baby Jesus. The clever soldier took him to the king. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where baby Jesus, the son of the God, is born? Hmm, yeah, I know him, I guess. Come, I'll take you to my king. He shall guide you. 
the wise man along with the soldier went to meet the king long live my Ma majesty hello wise man welcome how do i help you we came to see the new born king the one who is born the king of jews can you tell us where he is who oh, is i know i shall ask my soldiers to guide you thank you my majesty ho oh, wait even i shall want to see the new born king of course we would be happy to take you along with us please come your majesty king herod very cunningly went along with the wise men but in the middle the angel of god confused the way of the king and a silver star took the wise men to baby jesus scene 7 they reached the manger the wise men bowed before the baby and worshiped it they presented before the baby three expensive gifts gold frankincense and myrrh here i present before thee the precious gold i have bought to thee frankincense to the the son of david i have bought mir they all together stood in peace having found the true king of kings on a night in bethlehem they all sing together Wow this is how baby Jesus was born what a wonderful flashback it was a great team work friends hey rohit are you ready to rock and roll yeah sure Sagaino remix Feliz Navidad 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 Feliz
Christmas. <laughs> Now, time for some instrumental music. I would like to invite our children from class 6 to 8 and request them to please us with their finest notes and music.
really enchanting. It is time for a cute dance by a cuties of class LKG and UKG. It was amazing. It is a moment to share some memorable photographs from CCA. I really enjoyed my time during CCA and my work was regularly acknowledged through e-certificate. I thank the teachers and principal ma'am for their immense support. No program is complete without a word of thanks. Yes, you are right. Let us welcome our mate to give his vote of thanks. Good day to one and all gathered here. It seems to be a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to all who have helped us in making this Christmas celebration a very resounding success. First of all, my sincere thanks to Almighty God for making today's event a grand success. I would like to thank our school principal Mary who gave me an opportunity to speak on this auspicious occasion. And it is a matter of honor for me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Also, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the parents on behalf of our school. I would also like to thank our teaching staff, not teaching staff, caretakers, students committee, and the support staff for the complete preparation of this Christmas celebration program. Once again, I thank you all for your cordial cooperation. Thank you. We wish you a happy Christmas and New Year. Thank you.